Hey everybody, this is Paul. In this tutorial, I'll be explaining how to add nodes to a binary search tree. So if you notice here, I have a list of numbers that I've typed out here. And what we're going to be doing with these numbers is we're going to start at the left-hand side, and then we're going to begin the tree with the 50 here. And then once we've placed the 50 in the tree, then we'll go ahead and add the 76 to the tree, then the 21 to the tree, and we'll go all the way down this list until we've added all the numbers that I have listed here. These numbers right here are going to be the same numbers that I will use when I code the program on the computer screen. The reason why I'm doing the same numbers is I want you guys to kind of have an idea of what this tree is going to look like when we code it. We're actually going to draw the tree that I will be coding up later on. So that way you can refer to this video later on once we start building the tree if you want to see a visual representation. So I went ahead and drew right here the properties of a binary search tree. So whatever data value we have here inside of each node, all of the nodes in the subtree connected to this node's left pointer are going to be less than the data that we have placed in this node. And all of the nodes in the subtree connected to the node's right pointer are going to be greater than the value that is stored in this data variable in this node here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and create a binary search tree with these numbers that I have listed here. So first, let's go ahead and start with the 50. So the 50 is going to be our root node. So we'll just kind of put that guy right here. So that'll be the top of our tree. And so we'll place the number 50 right in there. And then we'll just go ahead and extend a left pointer and a right pointer for this node. So now 50 is going to be the root of our tree. So now when we want to add the number 76, we have to start at the top and we look at the number 50 and we realize that 76 is greater than 50. So we go to the right hand side since 76 is greater than 50 and we'll go ahead and add a node here for the number 76. So I'll just go ahead and put 76 in here. So now we have the number 76. And we'll go ahead and give this node a right pointer. And we'll go ahead and give him a left pointer. So now we've taken care of the number 76. So now we're going to move on to the number 21. So starting at the top, 21 is less than 50. So we go to the left pointer here. And this left pointer is not pointing to anything yet. So we go ahead and place the number 21 right here. So we'll place the number 21. And then we'll just put a little mark right here showing that we have placed the number 21 in the tree. And then we'll go ahead and give the 21 node a left pointer and a right pointer. So next we want to add the number four to our tree. So we start at the top at the 50 and four is less than 50. So we go down the left pointer here and then we compare four with 21. Four is less than 21. So we go to the left pointer. So we'll go ahead and place the four in a node right here. So there's our four. And then we'll just put a mark under here that shows that we finished number four. So next we want to add 32. So starting at our root, which is 50, we compare 50 to 32. 32 is less than 50, so we go down the left pointer. Then we compare 32 to 21. 32 is greater than 21, so we go down the right pointer. So we'll put 32 right here. So now we've added 32 to the tree. So next we're going to add 64. So starting at the root, 64 is greater than 50. So we'll go down the right pointer here. And then 64 is less than 76. So we take the left pointer. So here's the 64 now. So next we want to add the 15. So starting at 50, which is our root, 15 is less than 50. So we go down the left pointer. 15 is less than 21. So we go down the left pointer. And then finally, 15 is greater than four. So there's node 15. So now we've placed node 15 in the tree. So next we'll add node 52. 52 is greater than 50, so we go down the right pointer. 52 is less than 76, so we go down the left pointer. 52 is less than 64, so we go ahead and place 52 right there. So there's 52 now. And then we'll just go ahead and place a mark under here showing that 52 is done. Now we'll go ahead and add 14. So 14 is less than 50, we take the left pointer. 14 is less than 21, we take the left pointer again. 14 is greater than four, so we take the right pointer. And then finally, 14 is less than 15, so we go ahead and add node 14 right here. So here's our 14 now. So now that we've added 14, we're going to add the number 100. 
100 is greater than 50, so we take the right pointer. 100 is greater than 76, so we take the right pointer again. So we'll go ahead and place 100 right here. So there is node 100 now. So we've added 100 to the tree now. Now let's go ahead and add the 83, starting in our root 50. 83 is greater than 50, so we take the right pointer. 83 is greater than 76, so we take the right pointer again. And then 83 is less than 100, and 100's left pointer doesn't point to anything. So we'll add node 83 right here. Here is node 83. We're going to mark 83 off the list now. And now we're going to add node 2. 2 is less than 50, so we take the left pointer. 2 is less than 21, we take the left pointer again. 2 is less than 4, so we place node 2 right there. So there's node 2. Now we're going to mark 2 off the list. And then we're going to add node 3, starting at our root. 3 is less than 50, we take the left pointer. 3 is less than 21, we take the left pointer again. 3 is less than 4, we take the left pointer. And then finally, 3 is greater than 2, so we'll go ahead and place node 3 right there. And so we just need to mark that this is node 3. And then we'll go ahead and mark 3 off our list. So adding node 70, 70 is greater than 50, we take the right pointer. 70 is less than 76, we take the left pointer. 70 is greater than 64, so node 70 goes right here. So we'll place the value 70 in this one, and we'll go ahead and mark 70 off of our list. We'll go ahead and add the 87 next, so 87 is greater than 50, take the right pointer. Greater than 76, so we're taking the right pointer. Less than 100, so we're taking the left pointer. And then finally, greater than 83, we take the right pointer. So then we go ahead and add node 87 right there. So there's node 87. So now that we've done 87, we're going to add our final node, which is node 80. And so 80 is greater than 50, so we go to the right. 80 is greater than 76, so we go to the right. 80 is less than 100, we go to the left. 80 is less than 83, so we go to the left. And finally, we add node 80 right here attached to 83's left pointer. So here is node 80. So now we have added node 80, and that's the final node that we're adding to our tree. So now I'm just going to draw some null terminating symbols at the end of all of these pointers right here that aren't pointing to anything. So all these null terminating symbols that I just drew in here really quick, these are basically saying that we have a pointer here, but we're setting that pointer to null, so it's not pointing to anything right now. So anyway, there's a rough sketch of a binary search tree using the exact numbers that I am planning on using when I code it up on my computer screen. So that way when I code it, you guys have an idea of what our tree that we're going to work with actually looks like. The only thing that you might not be able to see from this without kind of looking at it closely is if we were to consider our root node to be the top of the tree, then the next level down would be the nodes 21 and 76. And then the next level down after that would be 100, 64, 32, and 4. And so it's kind of hard to see that with this drawing right here, but I guess it wouldn't really hurt too much to sketch the levels right here. So 50 right here is at the very top level. 76 and 21 are on the next level down. And then 164, 32, and four, those would be at the next level. And some people like to refer to the root as the zero level, some people like to refer to it as the one. So whichever way you like to think about it, it doesn't make a big difference to me. The root's the top level, this stuff right here is the next level down, and then we keep on going. We could separate the next level right here. So really we only have five levels of this tree. So the cool thing about this is if we were to search for any number in this tree, even though we have 16 values stored in this tree, the most nodes we're ever going to have to look at would be five because we're only five levels deep here. So if you consider this root node to be at level one, level two, level three, level four, level five is the deepest level here. So if we wanted to find the number 87, we would just do one search in 50 and realize that it's not 50, but it's greater than 50. So then that sends us this direction. We realize that it's not 76, but it's greater than 76, so that takes us this direction. And then 87 is less than 100, so here we're at the third search. And since it's less than 100, we know that we need to go down this direction. We're searching the fourth node. And finally, we find 87 in the fifth node of our search. So even though there's 16 different nodes, we didn't have to look at anything else other than the path that led us directly to node 87. 
So that's one of the cool properties of binary search trees is you can search for an item really fast even if there's a whole bunch of items in the tree. You know exactly what path to take because of this less than or greater than property that each node has. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. I will be discussing how to delete nodes from the tree. So the method of deleting nodes is a pretty important part of binary search trees because if you delete a node somewhere in the middle, for example, you need to make sure that this property that I've outlined over here still holds for the entire tree. I'll go ahead and explain that later when I talk about deleting nodes from a binary search tree. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have an excellent day. Stay tuned for the next video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.